On his 100th birthday, they sang Georgie's favourite song. Just you wait and George Beardshaw is one of Canada's last surviving British home children, youngsters from orphan institutions who were shipped from the UK as cheap labour. Their story casts a shadow to this day. I know a lot of people thought we were the scum of the earth, sending there, Britain was sending over some of the scum, you know, from off the streets of London, you know. They all thought that we were thieves. This was George when he sailed to Canada in 1938. He was among more than 100,000 British home children, sent to work typically on farms and as domestic servants. They were routinely overworked and many were abused. Some were uh, uh, pitchforks through them. Some slept in the barn with the cattle. I know all that stuff right here. There was a furnace in this house to keep it warm, you know, down in the basement. But there was no heat on my side, where my bedroom was. Like, it used to be pretty chilly there, like, you know, yeah. Today, around 10% of Canada's population is descended from the British home children. In a Toronto cemetery, a memorial recently constructed stands where more than 70 of them were buried in unmarked graves. Francis Woodward was 12, Charlotte Yard was 12. Laurie Oshevsky is the founder of the group Home Children Canada. This country was built on the backs of these children. She wants the Canadian government to follow the UK and Australia and make a formal apology to its British child migrants. It's just a travesty. You think about all these children and you're not, you're not doing anything to ensure that their safety and yet they knew what was going on with the kids. They knew about the horrific treatment and, you know, it is accountability. I mean, you know, it's recognition um, that what was done to these children was wrong. We send our warmest good wishes, Charles and Camellia. George Beardshaw has received birthday wishes from a British king and queen. Mr Trudeau. And Justin Trudeau, Canadian Prime Minister. Some of the home children. Yeah. Would, would say that Justin Trudeau should be making an apology to the yeah. home children. What do, you, what do you think? Oh, yes, maybe, yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Canada's parliament has passed a motion of apology, but none has been forthcoming from the government itself. In a statement to Sky News, it said it regretted the children's suffering and abuse, but the statement contained no apology. Mr. Trudeau, does your government owe an apology to the British home children? Great to see you. Does your government owe them an apology? No, no. Still the pushback. Owe them an apology? No, no. On saying sorry. Happy birthday to you. The hardest word comes with a hard reality that those who've waited longest for it can't wait forever. Happy birthday to you. James Matthews, Sky News, in London, Ontario.